guys. I want to show you a little bit of happy mail that I got recently. Um, let me see if I got all my stuff out here. Um, at Creativation this year, I got to meet uh, Sandra Evertson from Relics and Artifacts. And all of her pieces were really unique, really amazing, and there's so many cool things that you can do with it. So if you want to see some more of her um, inspiration, people that use her stuff, go to their Relics and Artifacts tribe on Facebook. Yeah, and go ahead and check out their website. There's a lot of amazing things there. But while we were at Creativation, she told a few of us to um, go ahead and look through the store and pick out a few things that we kind of liked. Um, and she sent them to us. So she sent me this, um, I picked out butterflies and flowers. Um, I'm kind of more of a girly girl, I guess. <laughs> so I have a few ideas of what to do with these. But they're basically just um, resin, matte resin craft blanks. Um, so you can paint them, you can embellish them, with them, you can use them in your home decor. Uh, this one comes with a stand, so I thought that was really cool. And um, you have all these gorgeous little uh, butterflies that you can stand up and embellish and stuff. And they come with these little pieces as well that you can kind of piece together your own little butterfly. Kind of play around with that. Here's a little one. Give you a close up of that if you can see it. And another pretty good size one. Now both of these have the bottom that you can put on this stand. So depending on which one you like, you can embellish either of them and then put them on the stand. This one does not go on the stand, but I'm sure you can put that on a canvas or on a scrapbook page or do something cool with it. So those are the butterflies. And then I got these flowers. Now they have one, two, three, four, five, six flowers. This nice big one here. Otherwise, these are a pretty good size and they already have a little um, hook or a loop on the top so you can hang them on a chain, make a, maybe a necklace out of them, bracelet out of them. Really fun things you can do. So I'm kind of excited to play around with these and see what I come up with. And then, let me just move these aside carefully. And then, um, we've been gone for a little while. I mean, we've been back now, but our mail was on hold while we were in Phoenix for Creativation. And when I got back, I had my package from my Secret Santa. So I wanted to show you what that was. So my Secret Santa is in France. And she sent me this gorgeous tag. There's so much um, texture on that and shimmer, and it's just so pretty. So she sent me that. She uh, wrote me a nice little note on the back. And then she included a few really fun goodies in here. So I have some of these like um, clock hands. It'll be fun to add to some things and some nice flowers and then a stamp set which I was like, wow, she sent me a whole stamp set. And that's really pretty and I love stamping, you all know that, so I'm sure I'll be playing with this soon. So thank you so much um, to my secret Santa who sent me this. I very much appreciate it. Um, and then, one last thing. This isn't exactly Happy Mail, but I did go to Hobby Lobby today, so I might as well show you what I got. <laughs> so I got, they were having a sale on a lot of stuff, so I got some vellum because I'm almost out of vellum and I love adding vellum to my cards and my projects so I just got another pack so I'll just set that over here. But they were having like 50% off a lot of embellishments so I picked up a few different things that I normally wouldn't pick up. I normally don't really pick up embellishments because um, I don't use them all that, lot, all that much but I picked up a few little things. So I thought these... Um, these, fl these feathers were pretty cool. They've got gold on them and then glitter on the top. And I just, I think I like gold and glitter lately. I just, I've been putting that on everything. And then I picked up some more of this glittery washi tape. Because I had a roll of gold and I'm almost out. It's become my favorite washi tape. I just like to add it to everything. So here's an example of a card I made. And you just put a little bit on the bottom and it just makes the card pop. So I just love that gold washi tape, and so I picked up a little bit more. And then they had this little 
little bag here that's full of different little embellishments. And they have this planner clip. Now I do some plannering, <laughs> if that's a word. And so I thought it would be cute to kind of put together a little clip. So um, nice, nice little chain. So I picked up this bag of embellishments because I thought some of these things might be able to work in there. So I just kind of going to kind of sift through there and see what all this looks like. Looks like something maybe fell off of that one, but I really like these leaves. Probably put a few of those on there. But anyway, so I thought that was kind of cool to get a few of these. And then I just got some of these little jump rings. I thought I could kind of add those onto the chain with my jump rings. And who knows, I can use them for other things too. So that was a, just, you know, what I got at. Oh, I got one more thing. Well, let me show you. <laughs> I got this, uh, this is a poster board, uh, it's a really big poster board, and I thought it would look nice for backgrounds for photos, um, and different things, and they have a whole bunch of different designs of poster board, like designer type poster boards, and they have a white wood grain background one, which I really wanted, but they didn't have it on the shelf, so I'm going to have to go back and see if they have it again some other time, because that one would look amazing, um, as a photo drop background. I like to do my, uh, you know, style my cards a little bit. So I'll have to keep my eye out on that one, but I really like this one. I just like the wood grain. I think it's a great texture as a background for your photos. So I picked that up. It was like two bucks. So very inexpensive. So anyway, that's what I got. I thought I'd just go ahead and show you. And uh, just keep watching for what I'm going to be doing with these um, relics and artifacts resin blanks because... I haven't played around with them too much in the past, but I'm excited to kind of see what I can do with them. So keep watching for that. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and um, comment below. I love to hear from anyone who's watching and ask, answer any questions if I can. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.